Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And this is an energy of freeing yourself from some sort of mental um, imprisonment. I do see, um, you know, there may have been some anxiety that was being caused in a situation here. That was really making you feel powerless or helpless or stuck. But with this energy being in the reverse, I, I do see you finally taking back your power, regaining that sense of self and starting to see yourself clearly. Um, there is a sense, you know, of freeing yourself from your mind. You may have been very much trapped inside of your mind or, you know, this mental imprisonment energy with this eight of swords but i do see here positive energy of you being set free and you starting to see the situation um, more clearly for what it is and also seeing yourself from a very different perspective and um, freeing yourself from victimhood because I do see here that someone may have made you feel victimized or um, this could even have been your mind playing out old scenarios and keeping you stuck in this um, state of feeling like you are trapped or that you cannot get out of something but I do see you getting a hold or um, getting power over your mind in this situation so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Virgo okay so the first card we have here is the magician so this is mercury energy Virgo Gemini energy next we have the ace of cups water energy cancer Pisces Scorpio energy and finally, we have the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Okay, so with that Magician card, again, I do see you taking back your power in a situation. Um, you may have dealt with someone who was very non-committal, very in and out. Um, this person, I'm seeing them as a bit of a free spirit, but um, also um, the negative manifestation of this Knight of Wands can sometimes be someone who is a bit careless or, you know, too carefree and a bit, um, you know, reckless. Um, in the sense that they they come and they go as they please and they don't stay um, and this can create a bit of an insecure attachment um, with the person that they are dealing with and I do see that in this sense this person may have really um, you may have felt a bit trapped in the situation um, you know this person is showing up as having been a bit um, careless with your heart but with the magician card showing up here I do see you taking back your power you um, you know standing up for yourself in the situation and um, really affirming yourself um, there is a sense of you being able to um, set boundaries in this situation and you being heard um, you know this is you being successful in that you manifesting this new beginning in love also I do see that um, there is a sense of this Knights of Wands person making a return in your life um, with more, um, you know, this is a very fun loving person, but I do also see um, love here with this Ace of Cups. There is a, almost a sense of a new beginning in love with this Ace of Cups. Um, you are starting to um, love from a more... Um, a more freeing place. Um, there is a, almost a sense of, you know, stepping out of entrapment when it comes to love and understanding that um, you can love freely. Um, you know, this is really, I am seeing here somebody making you this new love offer, um, but it is an offer that's really um, centered around compassion and um, very genuine emotion is what I'm seeing with this Ace of Cups. Um, also, it is more empowering. Um, I do see you also cultivating that self-love with this magician energy. So let's clarify these cards for a go.
this at the bottom of the deck we have the four of swords so this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy and this is um, a very healing energy um, this is taking a break energy this is taking time to recover and to heal your heart i do see you dealt with someone who was a bit careless with your heart and this is really giving yourself that tlc this is really um you know pouring into your cup so i do see a lot of self-love energy with this ace of cups um, i do see you taking time for yourself and also um, empowering yourself re respecting and honoring yourself and your feelings and giving yourself this opportunity to really pour into your cup is what i am seeing so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this virgo okay so the first card we have here is the six of pentacles so this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy next we have the nine of swords in the reverse air energy and finally we have the queen of cups water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so i do see here that this person who you dealt with they are um i am seeing them currently um making a return into your life this knight of wands person but i do see something about you being more empowered this time around um they may be giving more to you um they may be more invested this time around um this person is a free spirit i do see them always being that way they are that way that is who they are but i do see them you know giving more um being more respectful towards you um feeling the need to establish balance with you in this connection um, there is a sense that you may have taken some sort of a break from this person and they are wanting to um, reconnect with you and to to have something a bit more meaningful with you and with that nine of swords being in the reverse this is you no longer losing sleep over this connection this is you getting a hold of the situation i do see um, there was a sense of you having had suffered in silence um, very much mental anguish and energy with these um, the eight of swords and the nine of swords um, but with these two cards being in the reverse this is an end to that um, anxiety an end to that you know mental suffering i'm seeing you getting peace of mind um, you may even be getting um, you know reassurance from this person or you you're getting closure from this person but there is something that this person is doing that is helping you to um, to free yourself from um you know this um at this attachment to them um i'm seeing you um cultivating some sort of freedom and also being able to um you know give that love that you were giving to them also to yourself the queen of cups is a very compassionate energy this is you know someone who is a giver someone who is a good listener someone who is nurturing someone who is warm-hearted kind-hearted and compassionate and i do see this knight of wands person views you in this light and they want to reciprocate that energy to you they want to also um you know show you that um you do mean something to them they, they do have affection towards you um i do see this person um wanting to you know give to you what you gave to them because they do appreciate you um, but I do still see this person still showing up as this Knight of Wands. This person is still a free-spirited, fun-loving person. Um, and there is no guarantee on this person's staying power. But I do see them you know showing you their appreciation and honoring you um you know being trying to be fair towards you and um respecting you as well so this person they may be even um confessing um these feelings to you letting you know how much you mean to them uh, is what i'm seeing here and I, I am seeing you getting some reassurance of some sort that helps you step out of this anxious state okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you virgo So the card says, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Okay, so I am seeing you getting some reassurance, something that's going to help you set yourself free from this um, attachment. Um, it's almost like you are learning to, um, to love somebody from a place of non-attachment because this person is very much a free spirit and I, I am seeing you getting a hold of, um, you know, your, your attachment to them and also getting some sort of um, answers that give you mental clarity and 
set you free from any feelings that were keeping you stuck or anxious um, or keeping you in a state of overthinking or sleepless nights. So I do see you being set free. Some sort of communication is coming towards you that is giving you reassurance and peace of mind. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. Okay, so the card says, Honeysuckle, domestic happiness and devoted affection. I will wind thee in my arms, so doth thee would bind the honeysuckle gently in twist. twist. Okay, so I am seeing here that um, you are getting some sort of, somebody is expressing some affection towards you. Um, I do see... Um, something is setting you free from you know feeling trapped and uh, it, there is a bit of some happiness some joy that is coming from this place um and also um i am seeing somebody showing you that they do care for you and that they see you as this um affectionate and devoted queen of cups energy somebody is um really honoring you and showing you that they do actually appreciate and respect you with this queen of cups energy Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.